This is going to be a short lesson because the facade pattern is an integral part of web application development. It basically hides complex code with an easier to use and higher level API. So if you've ever used jQuery or MooTools or any other library or framework, then you have benefited from the facade pattern. Let's take jQuery for an example. It hides the lower level and complex DOM API with its own easy to use API. And it does the same thing with Ajax. It hides the mess that is asynchronous client server communication and makes it easy to use. But even then it makes it easy to use across all browsers. So it hides even more complexity. If you've written your own cross-browser utilities, then you have implemented the facade pattern. And that's what we're going to do in this lesson. We're going to write two functions, one to add event handlers, the other to remove event handlers. And it doesn't matter what browser that you're using, these two functions will work. They will work in Netscape 4 or Internet Explorer 4, they will work in IE6, and they will also work in the latest and greatest versions of all browsers. So let's get started by creating a function called add event. There are three things that we need in order to set an event handler. We need the element, we need the event, and then we need the function to execute when the event fires. So we first of all want to check for standards compliance. So the standard DOM has a method called add event listener, and of course you know this, and you've probably written this type of code, so we'll just check if add event listener exists. If it does, then we will use that method. We'll pass in our event, and then we will pass in the function. Although if we want to make this truly cross-browser, we need to pass false as the third parameter. Next, we need to check for a legacy version of Internet Explorer. So we want to check for the attach event method. If that method exists, then we will use it. By first of all calling it, we need to prepend our event with on. So we will concatenate on and then the event and then pass in the function. And then if the browser happens to be one that only implements DOM level zero events, and we will use bracket syntax in this case. So once again, we will concatenate on with our event and set that to the function. Now let's create the function that's going to remove the event handlers. I'm just going to copy that code, paste it in, and change the name to remove event. And instead of checking for add event listener, we want to check for remove event listener. And then we also want to call that method. The same for attach event, we want detach event. And if that exists, then we want to call that method. And then for the DOM level zero event handler, we simply just want to set the event handler to null. And so this is the facade pattern. We take complex code and hide it between an easier to use API. And as I said, this is an integral part of web application development, primarily because we have to support a variety of browsers with different implementations.